Exclusive. Buhari to visit Saudi Arabia, Europe on Tuesday to attend Lesser Hatch, undergo medical checkup. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning to listen. President Mohammed Buhari will on Tuesday leave the country for Saudi Arabia and later proceed to France and Scotland, where he is expected to begin a fresh round of medical checkup. Sahara reporters has learned. Sahara reporters gathered that Buhari will spend up to two weeks on his medical tour, but his first point of call is Saudi Arabia for Umrah, otherwise known as Lesser Hajj. Sahara reporters learned that the president, after performing the Umrah, will then go to Europe for his medical examinations. In August this year, Saudi Arabia had announced plans to gradually begin receiving Umrah pilgrimage requests from abroad for vaccinated pilgrims, starting about a year and a half of not receiving overseas worshippers due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It was announced with a, a capacity that would rise to 2 million pilgrims from 60,000 per pilgrims. 60,000 pilgrims per month. Mecca and Medina will start welcoming visitors from abroad to their mosque while maintaining COVID-19 precautionary measures. Last week, it was reported that a grand mosque in Mecca was ready to receive pilgrims and worshippers at full capacity. Just as the Ministry of Hajj and Umrah lifted the restrictions placed upon the performance of Umrah and prayers on the Radwa al Sharafi. Top sources confirmed to Sahara reporters that Buhari would leave Nigeria on Tuesday for his trip for pilgrimage and medical treatments. Buhari is going to Saudi Arabia, France and Glasgow from Tuesday. The date is set and part of it is for his medicals. The trip will not exceed two weeks but a first stop in Saudi Arabia. He will go for Umrah before heading for Paris and Glasgow, one of the sources revealed. There is so many matters on ground. There are so many matters ranging from insecurity to the inflation to the prices of goods and services on a daily basis, if not on an hourly basis. And the the economy is is is, is deteriorating. And this insecurity is spreading fast. It's spreading from the northeast to the northwest. It's spreading from the southeast to the southwest. What is going on? And yet a dear president who is supposed to make sure that this issue are uh, done this especially this one now this in insecurity that is the top is it's, it's on top of uh, Nigeria states it should be the most discussed issue that is bothering some for anyone who really loves their country this should be one of the this is it should be one of the prioritized issue over any other thing because on a daily basis, there is bloodbath. I've said it before that Nigeria is the second Red Seas. It is the second Red Seas because the bloodbath that is going on here is becoming alarming. And yet, um, the president deems it right at this time to visit, to go for pilgrimages. I see if nothing is wrong. I see if he does not have any concern about um, what is going on in Nigeria. You see, it says a lot. It says a lot. It really does say a lot. Of course, nobody will say he should not go for his medical examination. But must it be during this time? This time, there is so much chaos. There is tension everywhere. There is a lot of things going on. And you're leaving it in the hands of who? You're leaving it in the hands of who? Our leaders, they get this thing called leadership. They get it wrong. I do not know why. They do get it wrong because if they understand that once you become a leader, you become the chief servant of that particular, be it an office, be it a nation, be it a governorship, you become the chief servant. You are supposed to be attending to your electorate on a daily basis, especially in a state that is called the democratic state. The leader is meant to care for his people. The people put you in there for reasons so that reasons like this, you are going to swing into action and make sure that the country is safe. Unfortunately, we keep hearing this kind of news on a daily basis. 
Today we're going to hear an, an, an attack happen in the northeast. Later we hear, oh, it happened in the in the southwest and the southeast and the north northwest. These things keeps happening on a daily basis. If bandits do not attack, terrorists attack. If terrorists do not attack, Iswap will attack. If Iswap does not attack, or non gun men will attack. And it is spreading fastly. I keep it is spreading very very speedily. I keep saying it that it is going to get to everywhere. It is going to get to everywhere because of the kind of attention it is receiving. It is not receiving their kind of attention. If something is troubling you so much, is bothering you, what do you do? You try to make sure that that thing you solve it and you get your you get your sanity back. If something is troubling you, I've likened it to the case of a wound. A wound on your leg. Imagine somebody with a wound on his leg moving around as if he has no concern. Of course, moving around because he is being carried. He goes to wherever he wants to go to. He does not dress the wound. He does not take care of the wound and ensure that the wound is, the wound is free from infection, free from decay. So that that wound can close and he can have himself. He is very nonchalant. In fact, when he has a cut on his body, he seems that that cut on his body is more important than that big wound on his leg. That is the case Nigeria is in. Nigeria is decaying. It's decaying on all sides. This one, the wound is on all the parts of a body. The wound is, and nobody seems to be giving it attention. This, 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 this kind of nonchalant net and like a drastical attitude is very bad. It is very bad. I hope this has taught the lecturers the lesson. Sincerely, I hope it does. Picking somebody based on Godfatherism, oh, he has done this before. He has done it before, truthfully, yes. When he did it, what happened? When he did it, what happened? What happened when he did it? Did he do it well? Did he serve well? Was it a wonderful time? Did the people did not want him to go? There are things that, that, is, that, that is happening now. And you know, before this administration came in, they keep telling Nigerians that they are going to make sure that things go well. And this time around, things are falling apart on every angle. And what is the, what is the attitude of the government? Very lackadaisical going for pilgrimages at a point where Nigeria is about to break up. And you keep saying that the unity of Nigeria is not negotiable. Then you have refused to do the needful. You have refused to call for dialogue. You have refused to make sure justice, fairness, and equity is brought so that these agitations and this insecurity issue stops at once. It is sad. Very sad. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen.